Hello investors and future investors, welcome back to the channel. If you're all about the world of investing for financial freedom, then this is the video for you. In today's video, we're going to answer the fundamental question, what is investing? Although so many people have a brokerage account and retirement accounts, they don't understand what exactly investing is. So our job today is to define and give you real life experiences on investing for financial freedom. Welcome to Investment Gains. Let's jump right into it. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting to dip your toes into the financial waters, understanding investing is crucial for building wealth and securing your financial future. Let's begin by defining what investing actually means. At its core, investing involves putting your money into assets with the expectation of generating returns over time. These assets can range from stocks and bonds to real estate and commodities. You can also consider yourself to be an asset. Only in this case, you will reap the greatest investment gains. The primary goal of investing is to grow your wealth and achieve financial goals such as retirement, buying a home, funding your children's education or personal development. There are various types of investments, each with its own risk and return profile. Stocks represent ownership in a company, offering the potential for capital appreciation and dividends. Bonds are debt securities issued by governments or corporations providing fixed interest payments over time. Real estate involves purchasing properties with the aim of generating rental income or capital gains. Investing in yourself means personal growth. This can be achieved by immersing yourself into your interests by way of listening to audiobooks, podcasts, attending seminars, reading books and other publications, or hiring a personal development coach. Now that we have a basic understanding of investing, let's explore some key concepts that every investor should know. Word of caution, I'm not giving financial advice but merely sharing my personal experiences that lead me to financial freedom. Please use due diligence before entering any investment opportunity. Now, we will define three key components to investing. Number one, risk management. Investing inherently involves risk and understanding the relationship between risk and return is crucial. To be in the 1% of investors, you should always endeavor to enter investment opportunities that have asymmetric risks. This simply means that the potential gains from any investment should always be greater than the potential for loss. The concept of risk refers to the uncertainty of investment outcomes. Generally, investments with higher potential returns also come with higher levels of risk. For example, stocks have historically offered higher returns than bonds but are also more volatile. Investors must assess their risk tolerance, which is their willingness and ability to endure fluctuations in the value of their investments. Once you determined your risk's tolerance, these risks can be managed through diversification, which involves spreading investments across different asset classes and securities to reduce exposure to any single risk. Diversification does not mean having a 25 to 50 stock portfolio, but rather entering into different asset classes. For example, my investments are diversified because I own a business, a stock options and dividend portfolio and real estate assets. So my diversification is across three asset classes. By diversifying your portfolio, you can mitigate the impact of market downturns and improve the overall risk-adjusted return. Now that we've covered risk and return, let's discuss another essential concept. Number two, asset allocation. Asset allocation is the strategic distribution of investments across various asset classes based on your investment goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. To continue from the previous example, my asset allocation diversification spreads across stocks, property, and business. A well-diversified portfolio typically includes a mix of stocks, bonds, and other asset classes, such as real estate or commodities. The goal of asset allocation is to optimize the risk-return trade-off and maximize portfolio returns while minimizing risk. Investors should periodically rebalance their portfolios to maintain the desired asset allocation especially during periods of market volatility or changes in financial goals. If you're liking the video thus far, feel free to subscribe to the channel and share with someone else that can benefit from this content. Number three, type of investment strategies. There are various investment strategies that investors can employ to achieve their financial objectives. One common strategy is buy and hold investing, where investors purchase assets with the intention of holding them for the long term regardless of short-term market fluctuations. This strategy capitalizes on the power of compounding and allows investments to grow over time. 
An example of this strategy would be to buy a blue stock company that has seen a decline in its share price due to circumstances beyond their control. Because of its reputation, the company's share price will most likely recover and grow over time. Another popular strategy is value investing, which involves identifying undervalued securities that have the potential for long-term appreciation. An example of value investing would be to purchase a property for $400,000, but its actual value is $500,000. In this example, your value gained would be measured in equity, which is $100,000. Value investors seek to buy assets trading below their intrinsic value, providing a margin of safety and potential for significant returns. Additionally, investors can pursue growth investing, focusing on companies with strong growth potential and high earnings growth rates. Growth investors prioritize companies that are expected to outperform the market and deliver above-average returns over time. The operative word here is expected. Regardless of the strategy you choose, it's essential to conduct thorough research and maintain a disciplined approach to investing. Number four, investing for the long term. One of the most critical aspects of investing is adopting a long-term perspective. In my opinion, this is the best form of investing that will help withstand and capitalize on market fluctuations. While the financial markets may experience short-term fluctuations and volatility, history has shown that investors who remain invested for the long term tend to achieve better results. Time in the market is more important than timing the market. Trying to predict short-term market movements is incredibly challenging and often counterproductive. Instead, focus on building a well-diversified portfolio aligned with your financial goals and risk tolerance and staying invested through market ups and downs. Investing is not just about making money. It's about securing your financial future and achieving your life goals. By understanding the fundamental principles of investing, managing risk, and staying disciplined, you can embark on a journey toward financial independence and prosperity. There isn't one investment strategy that works better than the next. Feel free to explore two of these strategies together for better results. Remember, the key to successful investing lies in knowledge, patience, perseverance and investing in your personal development. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, keep pushing your investments. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video valuable, check out either of these other videos for more insights into investing and options trading.